So this is Colourful Recolor. And um, as I mentioned at the top, our very own Hugo B designer has um, some sort of programming role. I can't remember if he was like a lead or a head puzzle developer, but he's definitely got like a big part in the uh, development of this game. And uh, this is currently a demo, which is available if you use the Opera GX browser. And uh, it is coming on Steam, so uh, be sure to check it out on Steam and add it to your wish list. But Deathwish808 played through this the other night on his stream, and I thought, you know what, it'll be a nice little gentle like way back in to uh, streaming for me. So uh, yeah, I thought I would take a look. Um, I'll be honest, not really read too much about it, so we're just going to jump in blind and um, see how we can uh, get on here. Now, I don't know if um, assume it will tell me the um, bits and pieces. Just going to wait to see if uh, Hugo's name comes up. There we are. Level designer. Hugo B designer. There he is. Awesome. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, let's jump in. And... Um, now, there's 20, 20 levels, I believe, on the demo, so I don't know how long this is. I know Death Wish's stream of this, or his video on YouTube at least, is about 55 minutes. So um, he got about an hour out of it. Knowing me, it'll probably take me about two hours. Um, but uh, anyway, let's uh, jump in. Obviously, the chapters are going to be color-coordinated, I guess, or, or color-themed. So obviously, chapter one that we're going to get to play here is red. So let's jump in and... Uh, so what we need to do. Primer. Okay, so it's very much... Okay, so it's very much keyboard-oriented. Oh, it's one of these games. Okay. So, I've yeah, I've kind of seen this thing, this kind of concept before. So, I think... If I remember rightly... My son actually has, um, what was it called? I think he had a game on his phone at one point. Is it called like House Paint or something or something weird? And it was like the similar sort of concept whereby um, you kind of like have to hit walls and navigate your way through. But I think the idea of that was he had to kind of like paint all the walls. Um, here, obviously, in this mechanic here, we can't touch or we can't land our, the bottom of us or where we kind of like sit on. We're not allowed to sit on any yellow walls there. So we've got a code red. Okay. Okay, that's not too uh not too bad so far. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, that's we've got some sort of portal. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the little portals will actually change our colour. That's quite interesting. Quite a nice little mechanic. So. Yo, Atom. I am back indeed. Okay, so the trick here is obviously going to be... Yeah, we're going to need to navigate around the reds first before we pick up the yellow. That allows us to get around there and do that. How you doing, Atom? Hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you've been keeping well. I'm back from my vacation and all that sort of jazz, so yeah. To streaming we are. Checking out this um, the demo of this game, Colorful Recolor, which uh, Hugo has um, had um, bits and pieces to do with. All right, so oh, now that's interesting. So we're going to go through this yellow, but then we're also going to pick up the red on the way out. So yeah, that's um, that's interesting. So how are we going to deal with this? I 
I'm liking the music, I have to say. Speaking of music, I came in and that um you mean do another music stream. Oh, okay, so we go backwards, of course. Make so much sense now. Yeah, I need to do another uh we need to do some more music streams, get back into some music making. I've been listening to a lot of tracks recently and got a few ideas and bits and pieces going around in my head. So um yeah, we're gonna need to uh, get back into that. So ultimately here we're gonna need to land or try to land around here maybe okay let's see what we can do that was our only real opening move which means that's all we can do there it's very much one-way traffic it feels at the minute though That's just going to put us on a loop. I almost need to, I think I need to like loop around here. Yeah, I'm going to need to come down here on this yellow here somehow so we'll do that actually there we go yeah got it yeah to be honest Adam, i'm not sure i'm not sure if uh i'll be going back to portal i'm on it honestly as, as much as i love the game um i kind of feel like i may have kind of peaked with Paul finally after all these years but I don't know I'm, I'm never say never never say never all right how are we going to get around here oh, I was red there kind of like need to be on here so we're gonna need yellow to there yellow across down okay so we need yellow okay that's it pick oh it's red there though damn totally missed that there we go that's the way we do it. All right. Level 10, halfway point. A little push. Okay, so I'm guessing if we hit these blocks here, it's going to force us to go in a certain direction, right? Yep. Almost like a, like a way to redirect you. All right, that's pretty cool. Nice little mechanic. It's nice that they're sort of adding in these like mechanics and then like testing your understanding of the mechanics by you know, giving you a good few levels before then introducing the next thing. So yeah, I, I really like that and the way they're doing that. Be very careful around that middle bit there because it was red and obviously we're not allowed to use any of the um the yellow around there so close to the exit okay so we can go one of two ways here although we can only go up now we can go down And there we go, to the exit. Yeah, we just need to try to try and work out which ways and, and which bits and pieces we go here. Level 13, Compass Rose. So clearly, we're not going to be able to um, get anything in the middle here. Just have to try to plan out where we can go from here.
So if we was to go straight right here, then we're gonna, get, oh no, we can go here and then we'll go, okay, yeah. All right, ignore that, scrap that. That was red. Okay, I think it's kind of going to be like the same thing. Oh, that's awkward though, isn't it? Oh, there we go. So yeah, we just got to kind of like make our way around. Slowly, slowly. Now here. This is where it's... Ah, just go around like that. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> I totally wasn't expecting that like little ending move. That ending was cool. It was almost like we was jumping on a load of faith plates right at the end there. Okay, so now they're introducing keys. Yeah, no, that's uh, it's a good way to put it, Mika. Good analogy. Oh, it's red. Darn. I don't know. I, I had this like conversation with Deathwish um, about bits and pieces and. I don't know, I almost kind of feel like Portal burns me out quite quickly these days for the simple reason that I kind of seem to play lots of... Oh, I think I need the red key first. Like, I don't know if it's just because like I'm... I wouldn't say like a veteran as such. But because I play Portal a lot, um, I feel like it almost like it's got to it got to a point where all the map requests were kind of difficult maps, and I think that's kind of like one or two difficult maps is is all right, but after a while, it soon leads to kind of like burnout. And I think it's not healthy for somebody just to play solid solid maps all the time. And I think that's kind of like maybe why I've come to like the decision that I kind of want to break from it. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. There's there's many factors as to what it could be. Okay, so here we've got to be careful, uh, and that's why. I think we had the right idea. We have to avoid this one though. So we have to go around it there first. I, I will never hate the game. Never, ever hate the game. But, you know, after however long it is I've been playing it, I think like six, seven years of playing the game. I think there's other games now that I kind of like enjoy it as much and would like to like play more of. So I kind of always been, I've always prided myself on being a almost like a variety streamer. 
so to only stream one game um, as much as I did, I don't think is helping. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just waffling. Now this one's interesting. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that one's um, that one's pretty neat. I had to really think about like like what was going to pass through there to be able to uh, to get through different bits and pieces. Oh, indeed. Honesty is definitely the best policy. created an infinite loop. So, um, interestingly, we're always going to hit that now from here, aren't we? So what we actually need to do is we need to kind of Pass through this top bit here, where the key is, as opposed to the bottom bit there. So how do we achieve that, I wonder? Not like that. Since death, so we might as well restart that. There we go, we go around that way, just like that. I totally like overlooked the entire left side of that puzzle. All right, number 19, blushing. Well, we don't want to go straight up because that's going to be instant. Oh, sorry, let's go right into death. Yeah, I can. I can see where you're coming at. Oh, okay. That was. For some reason that's not what I expected. I don't know what I expected. That wasn't it. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh. I thought I messed up then. pretty neat that was pretty neat. just like just, it's, it's all about like planning out your path here and thinking about everything yep should have seen that happening Okay, we got the yellow key. Sorry, no, we haven't. We got the red key. Yep, 
Yeah, no, I, I get that all the time. And that's, I don't know, I, it's one of my things with like Minecraft is that I, I often join world, join and or start new worlds. And I'm always kind of just doing almost the same thing over and over again. Like setting up farms, doing various bits and pieces. And yeah, I totally agree that if you, uh, we've messed that up, haven't we? And I've got to remember my steps now. Uh, yeah, if you do too much too soon, then um, it does certainly take away a lot of the fun of the game. can't go straight over there. I have to go around here. Then I have to do that. Have to go around there. Then I can pick up red back to here. Up yellow. Ah, oh, I went the wrong way. <sighs> Focus knock. up round up to there across to pick up the red now my goal here now is to get onto this block here so it takes me through the exit I'll be honest though I, I a lot of the time I mean I, I would I only really properly paid one mod pack and that was back in the day I played um, I played uh, Tech It when Tech It first came out. Um, but that was years and years ago. But, um, sorry, I'm just trying to think what I can do. I, I kind of just, with Minecraft now, I, I, I don't mind playing Minecraft and I quite enjoy. But what I enjoy doing now, and a lot of people don't, is just, I just enjoy like just digging or just exploring, which is something I never really done before when I've played the game, if I'm honest. So it's quite mad like how different you kind of experience the game as you kind of like play it more. There we go. Did it. And that playing a game, you really can't play that much. You guys, somehow I found them again. My love for reading. All delighted by reading books. Yeah, but everybody, everybody's got their own thing, though. To be fair, Mika, you know, I would, I would love to be more into books. But what puts me off reading is I'm a very, very slow reader. So, in in like the nicest way possible, I don't mean like this as bad as it sounds, but to me reading a book is a chore and hard work because I am such a slow reader. So, um, yeah, that's why I don't tend to um, to read too many books. Um, but there we go. We, that's the, um, that is the 20 level demo of um, Colourful Recolor. Now there is, I think there is like a, a speed run um, kind of variation on this and some people have been posting speed run times, but um, um, I don't really want to worry too much about the speed run, but what I will try and do, if I remember, 
when I post this onto uh, YouTube, for everybody watching YouTube, hopefully I've remembered. I will put a link down in the description. So if you want to have a look at this um, game, uh, you can A, have a look at it. The only problem about the demo is that you have to download the Opera GX browser at the moment um, to play it, but it is going to be fully released on Steam and I will include a link to the Steam page so you can add it to your wish list if you are interested in the game. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. Like I said, it reminds me of uh, a game my kids had on their mobile phones like ages and ages and ages ago. I think it was called like House Paint or something. We had to kind of like paint all of the walls. So I quite like the, um, the twist on it. I quite like all the added mechanics. Um, yeah, we like the, the push blocks and the port, the, the, the change of the colors. And I'm quite interested to see what else um, or what other, sorry, mechanics you uh, plan on bringing to the game. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for posting and uh, making us aware of this, Hugo. Hopefully, um, I'll get a chance to play the full thing when it is released on Steam. But until next time, guys, I've been off. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.